so hi all uh, now uh, we have seen in the part one like how to start the process through the interface and process model let's see the other ways of starting the process that is through the interface that is from the tempo side scheduler email and all okay so let's start done now the third way to start the process is through the tempo uh, right so this uh, other way to start the process is through the tempo so let's go inside like how to start the process through tempo let's see the tempo ones so this is our tempos here and here you can see five types are there in the tempo news okay news tasks record report and actions are here okay so all the process which are started it will be in the action only Okay, so how to configure an action the same whatever the interface we have taken we will configure it as an action there so you can see here your save as button is here and now we will give it here so value is required start okay so let me just name it as start process okay and I have given z y is start process that's it so now let's save it as an action there once I will save it as an action it will become a, as an application so uh, it has been saved successfully and let me just click on save so you can now see like it has saved here let me just go and refresh once so once I have refreshed my interface here this tempo one okay so once I have refreshed, so you can see here YS start process uh, is here, right? It has came. So let let's click on this start process once. So let me click on the start process. So you can see here it has opened whatever my interface is there, and now again whatever the thing I want to do from here, submit or anything in the submit, I have a start process. It will start the process through the link as I can as we will. Let's go to the start and now it will start the process, right? So from in the uh, this as well it is like this so now you can see here the process model has been started and whatever the process model that interface has that will also get uh, triggered okay so in the monitoring as well we can go and see it or uh, from here as well where is this huh. so it has let's open our this one as well see here and let's see that one more process model instance was triggered okay and values are hard coded for now so this is the way to trigger from the actions once we have clicked on the start process it has taken me to the initially whatever the form has been start uh, done as this one okay automatically it has taken the form and now once we again the same process there click on any link and it will start that process okay so interface uh, tempo part is as well done fourth is a site okay so fourth one is a site so let's configure quickly a site as well okay so start process site and display name will be uh, start a process something like this and now we can create our site here so again the same thing will be there whatever the forms we have created directly you can go and configure in the site and once you click on the submit button then the form will get submitted and the process whatever has been there it will get see uh, uh, it will get started so let's write a name here start process okay from the interface action and all these values are let's select interface only our interface is ys underscore form to start process oh it is currently having a rule input let's delete that rule input we don't need it anyway we are not configuring any forms or anything let's save the changes uh, this is itself creating some issue so what I will do here is I will just comment this whole code as well so not an issue so now let me save the changes we only need the start process so where is huh now let's again ys underscore start uh, ys underscore start 
process UI oh, no not that same one ys underscore form okay ys underscore form to start process that's it and let's select some icon as well something as process and let's save it now so now let's save our changes and now let's go to our site once we have gone to our site you can see the same interface will be displayed here and again the usual process either either click on this link or either click on that link okay so currently let's go back to our process okay and now let's check our instances see the latest instance was last instance was triggered at 831 okay let's refresh there are not any so other instance as soon as click on this one others should also get triggered okay now you can see here action is completed so now let's refresh it so now you can see another instance has came at 835 let's start the process from here and I have clicked on start process okay so you can see here uh, the value has been came oh here all the values are hard coded no need to see it fine so it is also a way to start the process and this was through the site now the next way to start the process is through the web API okay web API so let's quickly create our web API as well so to start the process click on the web API and here you will get an option to start the process so let's start process model constant it is asking so let me ys underscore parent process so this is the process I have given okay and let's name it as a start process API and no need of endpoint let's click quick click okay start point api2 let's name it then now let me click on create let's save the setting security fine and once i have created the api you can see here this api is here and once if we if i click on test request so you can see here a 200 error will there and the value is there automatically it has taken interface input as null and sub process as this one it means that whatever the value has been passed from here we should be able to see number process as well let's go to the process instance 836 new instance is there see one value is null and second is passing the value from parent process right so with the help of api let's pass the value from the api and see it okay so in which parameter we are going to pass two parameter are there so we will pass inside this so let's copy it whole here and let's paste it here let's delete the comma interface okay and now here we will write value coming from api simple and now let's test it once again okay let's go to the instance of our process model here is the instance and let's see the most recent instance and we we should be able to see the value see value coming from api so that is with the way we can start the process through api as well okay so that is also done and now let's do it other so scheduler is there to start the process so actually what we can do here is we can schedule a process model to start automatically Okay, so let's uh, remove all those values here and this is the start node you can go in the triggers setup and here we can set a timer so here you can see like uh, two things are there when you want to start the process so every day you want to start the process or at an interval you want to start the process okay so here you can see here it is written minutes interval must be sent to a whole number equal or greater five minutes so you can configure every five minute it will start the process okay so or we can also do it with the help of daily so daily one process will be started and what at what time you want to start the process this is the delay when you start the process how much delay you want I don't okay so let's say like I want one minute of delay okay so let's see it here once uh, it must be greater than or equal to five minutes so every five minutes one process model should get started 
right so see here once this the scheduler icon will come in like this so let's save the process as well and you can see now like every five minutes the process will get uh, triggered so we can wait for a uh, five minutes and we can see the process getting triggered okay so this is the scheduler one now let's see another process that is from the email so in the email as well from email as well we can send uh, we can start the process okay so let's see like how we can start a process through the email so first of all you have to go to the file okay and then you have to go to the properties and here in the properties section you can see like a uh, lot of options are there and here you can see public events okay so here it is saying like allow this model to retrieve message sent by any user it if you click on checkbox so now this process will be able to receive message from the outside as well so this part should be done it should be checked okay and now let's again go to the properties of the start process triggers so first we have decided with the help of timer we can do it okay and the next is receive message as well okay so now we have to configure like it will receive the message from the email okay we'll have a detailed discussion about it now uh, later on but let's see here listen for messages of type so for what type of message you want this process to listen process to process external to process or email so we want to listen from the email part right and let's configure the data as well so here we can configure any value we want okay let's go to the configuration and let me put it testing email something and we can write it here okay and it is stored as what new so I want to create a new variable okay email I will create it automatically see here it is automatically parameterized okay and let's see it check it fine so you can now see like it the icon has now changed to the uh, this hexa or pentagonal shape fine it is able to receive messages let's publish our process model and now I have to send the email so now you can see here I have opened my email I have to send the email to this process in order to start it right see we have also reached the time so you can see like some process last process was triggered at 837 and few more process should get automatically triggered see 843 automatically two process have been triggered I haven't triggered any automatically they are triggered because of this scheduling so now I guess we can remove uh, the trigger part okay otherwise it will keep on triggering might make the community a bit slow fine so only receive message is there let me just publish it fine so now I have to email it so how to send an email to the process model so for that purpose what you will need here is a format of the email like how you need to send it okay so this is the format for that first of all what you need here is you need the process model okay process you, you have to write process model okay so first part is to write the process model here and then whatever the UUID of your process how to get the UUID you can go to the properties and you can copy the UUID here copy it okay let's paste okay so let's go here and after that UUID you have to paste the UUID here okay so first of all we have written this process model uh, UUID and then the pasted the UUID here once we have done that now after that what we can do here is we can write at the rate and whatever the community URL we are using that URL we can use it here okay so uh, let me go to see when I type MKW so this is the community URL I can do it okay so my community is mkw.apn.community so this is the way and let me write go and write it here so that's it at the rate this is the link and this email address okay we'll paste it here and we'll paste it inside this subject we can write like okay process model and here we can write it testing the process testing the process model okay and now let's click on send so start the process let's see in the monitoring something has been started or not 
one more thing we can configure in the mail meanwhile is in the receive message we want to receive the body of the email so for that i have just hard coded some value there we don't need to hard code the value whatever the value that is there we can receive it with the help of uh, message bank properties msg bank uh, body so it will help us to get the body of the message that's it save and close it okay and just publish it let's see in the monitoring something has been triggered or not some time to trigger the process as well so now you can see here i have got uh, this a new process trigger but some error is there so let's see what is the error and uh, but the process model was at least triggered even though it is the error so now you can see here it has uh, reached and both the nodes has now broken nothing is triggered let's see the details what are the errors here so you can see here the user the user anonymous does not have sufficient period to perform the requested action the user does not have privilege so i guess anonymous user f a group should also be activated or enabled in order to start the process that i have not enabled so it has now broke so if you are aware about like how to enable it do let me know uh, we'll enable that as well and then our process will be able to we will be able to start process through the email as well okay so that's all that was all the different ways to start the process okay through the different ways to start the process we have seen seven ways uh, to start the process okay so that's that was all the method that we have seen to start the process okay so we have seen two parts all the methods starting from the interface sites uh, tempo api scheduler email everything we have seen let me know like if i left any of the methods or not or any other way or as well to start the process okay so we'll maybe we'll cover later on as well so that's all for now thank you